The Google Science Fair has wrapped and the three winners have been announced and they are way smarter than you. Hey everybody, I'm Trace. Thanks for stopping by DNews today. What does the world's largest internet search provider, world's largest particle accelerator, and the world's largest manufacturer of tiny little interlocking plastic bricks have in common? Science! The 2013 Google Science Fair was held over the weekend in California, and seriously, these kids are smart. Which is an understatement, they're actually really, really smart. The fair is sponsored by Google, Obvi, CERN, LEGO, National Geographic, and Scientific American. From the thousands of projects submitted from students 13 to 18 years old across the planet, the top 15 were selected. I looked at some of last year's projects as well as this year's, and let me tell you, these are some intelligent little humans. These students are exploring cures for Alzheimer's, computer programming, prosthetics, phonology, engineering. I read complicated scientific papers as part of my job, okay? And reading some of this work had me lost. Some of these were written by 13 and 14 year olds, humbling and inspiring. That does not even begin to describe my feelings. The top three youths were separated by age group. Vinny Kumar from Australia is 14 and created a novel way to get emergency vehicles from their dispatch points to the site of the emergency. Right now we rely on loud noises and flashing lights, which is not exactly rocket science. Kumar uses the cell phone in your pocket, GPS, and a special messaging system to alert a driver an ambulance is coming and they say GTFO so it can save some lives. What? That is amazing! In the next category, Up, Anne Makasinski, a 15-year-old from Canada, designed a battery-free flashlight. Her device uses Peltier tiles to take advantage of the thermoelectric properties of humans and their environment. Using the difference in heat from your hand versus the ambient temperature of the air around the flashlight, electrons move from one place to another to generate DC power. Boom! Battery-free flashlight. She knows batteries suck, so do we. Nice job, Anne. And the grand winner this year was 17-year-old Eric Chen from the U.S. USA! USA! He listened to the growing concerns of the scientists regarding dangerous viral strains of influenza and its growing resistance to flu vaccines. Rather than going to Google Plus or Facebook or Snapchat or whatever the kids are using right now to talk to each other and freaking out about it, he used a combination of biology and computer modeling to discover the beginnings of a new way to attack the DNA replication of the most dangerous flu strains out there. Because of his project, researchers are much further toward a new flu vaccine that could fight a variety of powerful flu strains. Damn, dude, I binge watched The Sopranos this weekend and you're like helping people not get the flu. I feel like a putz. By the by, honorable mention went to 16-year-old Elif Bilgen from Turkey. Her project is a method of creating bioplastic from discarded banana peels. <laughs> it's called going bananas. Yeah. I love it. Now I'm thinking back to all those bananas I've been throwing away. I could have made so much cool stuff. Congratulations to all the finalists and for those who weren't picked, we at D News are proud of you too. So try again next year. Science! Woo! Does stuff like this make you excited for the next generation of scientists? I mean, I'm obviously excited, but are you excited? Tell us your thoughts below and subscribe for more D News updates seven days a week.